my name is Karl-Heinz Köller. I am professor for agricultural engineering in Germany at the University of Hohenheim. I uh, spent there more than uh, 25 years in this agricultural engineering research and education and training. Well, that's, that's of course a very uh, yeah, severe problem and uh, I think basic uh, in every country where you come in is training and education and especially for young farmers when you are in Africa or in, in, in other countries uh, there is a, a big issue with the uh, training of basics in agriculture. You know, today you have these modern technologies, you have these computers and you have sensors and electronics and so on and so on. So in western farms or here in the bigger farms, these, the farmers are familiar with these techniques. But in, uh, in developing countries perhaps uh, they, are, not, they have no chance to, to work with these uh, technologies. But there is a strong need for education and training so that they will get a chance to get in these new uh, technologies. And uh, so the most important things, training and, uh, and education. As we heard on this conference uh, today, uh, the, the uh, transformation from theory into practice and to show this on, uh, yeah, on examples, in the, you have to go to the farmers to explain, to show what techniques you, is, 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 uh, is, po is possible and what is, uh, what is uh, the most important benefit for, for these farmers in their special, on, in their special yeah, circumstance. Yeah. So education, training, and, and of course, yeah, in, in a lot of countries, and, and this will help, in a lot of countries, young people are leaving countryside. They are going to the towns, and, and big towns in Africa, Latin America, 20, 30 million of people living in towns, and young people are going there. So uh, we have to keep them in, in the country. And one big uh, uh, issue is modern technology to bring these technologies into the country. I think young people will be convinced or, uh, that's a, a very important mean to keep young people in the country. In, in Africa, when you see uh, young people, they have these iPhones, and with these iPhones, perhaps you, can, you have access to the market, and at least you can, uh, you can steer modern tractors and, and combines by iPhones and so on, so young people are interested. In, and so by this mean, you have the chance, of course, to increase uh, the uh, agricultural production. Uh, so, one point. There is today technology available. We have robots. <laughs> We have self-steered tractors today, we have uh, also. But in, uh, in to, to bring these technologies into a broad uh, field, I think it takes some years, because all these uh, uh, modern technologies, uh, often they have uh, create some special problems too. And uh, that means you have to have a, 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 a network in the farm, uh, in the country, uh, to run these technologies and it's it's not so easy because in some times if you look uh, you have modern tractors or modern combines in uh, perhaps in developing countries and often you have uh, problems to uh, to keep running this uh, technique uh, because there's a lack of spare parts or whatever and so if you have these uh, this uh, technology yeah uh, I think the, the most important uh, factor is uh, you have to have uh, countries without people in the country. Then there's a chance to bring these robots uh, in the field if you have no... But under these conditions, it might be... Yeah, it might be happen that in the next 10 years, these technologies in some countries will, will come. But uh, in, in, in the most of the... In most of the cases, I think it will take 10 to 20 years uh, when you see these technologies used worldwide.
but it's, it will come in some areas, perhaps like in Kazakhstan, we have, uh, when you have no people to can, uh, drive these combines over kilometers in the field, these processes like tractors or combines driving in kilometer long fields, that's no problem, you can realize it uh, today. Uh, but more complicated uh, situations, it will take uh, some time longer. From a university, and uh, my most important uh, yeah, issue is or has been the education. You see, I'm working as a researcher in theoretical developing uh, new technologies and so on. That's one side. But the most important for me was to 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 bring these uh, knowledge from these theories to young people, uh, to in training and education, uh, young people to. Um, to make them uh, fit for these new technologies. And uh, on the other side, I'm coming from a farm. So at least I'm, I'm a farmer too. And so I have a real understanding of the needs uh, for, for, from farmers. And on the other hand, when I'm working in, in research, in theory, it helps a lot if you know, uh, know the, uh, what, what farmers want to do. And on the other hand, if you are in the theory, working in this research, you are able to explain uh, farmers what is the aim of these uh, the technologies. And in between are these students, and I try to give them an idea about farming. So that's not only theoretical use of machines, but to get knowledge about the, uh, uh, the, the problems of the farmers. Uh, students should, of course, also understand the needs uh, of farmers, and of course they should, should know what technique or technology can do, and bring this uh, together, that was for me the uh, main task, yeah? main task, young people, technology, and needs of farm bring together.